get up. <laughs> Run up to the Sing us a song. We'll share a tale. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companion. Who among you has heard the tale of the Kraken? It is a real beast, I tell you. I saw it with my own eyes a long time ago. I had barely a hair on my chin. I was out wailing, painting the sea red as we dragged our quarry back to the village by its fin. Fine old Grey. Huge he was, but the boat slowed down some, then stopped, and soon started moving against the current. Stunned into silence. Whale style slow death sometimes. And often they make a last bid to escape. So I checked its bindings. And there it was. Oh, pick up from there. Oh, oh my brother! Die! Death sometimes. Often, Must row in these waters. The last bit to escape. So I checked its bindings. The there it was. The Kraken. His arm wrapped yeah, around yeah. the whale, pulling it down, down to the depths. And us with it. I slashed the rope, Raise releasing the whale. And as quickly as it came, the monster disappeared, dragging its thin end to the icy yeah. waters. Vanished completely. Took me another season to foster the desire to go whaling again.
Ivo has returned! Hail, Wolfkist! And so violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the guiding light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I'll ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Beerston, I'm glad to see you again. How's your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elorich. He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I am sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I'll make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? So my yal's gonna. You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deolov, strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, day or love. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you are welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once. Or, you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin.
Did you enjoy the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone! We have nothing to settle! Die on these walls if you will! It is your choice! No wall is high enough to keep me from you! Then come! Clam your brother if you can! I shall wait with him! If you would find us... You need only follow his screams. Fulgay! What will the skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter. ...that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky... ...to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters... ...for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. Battles and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? I don't get hit. Aha! The simplest oh, strategies are the best. The Raven! Incoming! Brace!
with you. I'll have your head. Interesting move. Sigurd was here once, but no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? <sighs> Is this Sigurd's blood? Still. Every instant of your torment, Fulke will suffer tenfold. The church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your cowardice betrays you! Great. Uh, this door will need the strength of two. Hey, can't do this alone. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Uh, brother, brother. I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. 
I promise. You cower for me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Such potential. Wear your fine words now, Paladin. Not raise your eyes to the light. I will bury you in the dark. So you can fight after all. You meddle in matters you do not understand. You are more like Sigurd than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An archon. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He's my brother and my Jarl. And your mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Damn you to hell! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave.
saved your brother. Animals we are. Spit and vomit. Shit and soul. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain! Yes! To awaken him! Let me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I will fight. As a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I will hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the wolves! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters.
Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uba, until we meet again. <laughs>